Hi everyone, it's Brittany here, and I am doing a video response to Fairy Tale Crafts. This here um, is her name, Fairy Tale Crafts S. So it's Crafts S, two S's at the end, and um, she's having a giveaway. The rules for her giveaway are: you must be a subscriber to her channel, you must make a card or tag with using a stamped image. And you have to color it in using either your Copics, um, Spectrum Noir, watercolors, um, Prisma, whatever whatever it is that you use to color in your pictures. And you must make a video response and link it to her video. And you get an additional four entries if you mail your card or tag to her. And it has to be postmarked by March 6th to, qu to qualify. So here is my card. And... Um, I used um, Latte Anya, I believe is her name, for this. And then I used this paper stack here that I cut with a view. Oops. The citrus stack. So that was the stack I used. And she's trying to get started um, using her Copics, which I, I just barely started with mine. But I can give one tip that I like to use. Because I bought this um, this set right here, and they don't all go together and everything. So one tip that I use is um, I take this scratch paper, which is whatever paper you're going to be coloring your stamped image on, and I take it and then I will um, do I will pick my colors by um, you know putting them on here and seeing which colors blend better together or which ones match because in this kit here you kind of um I don't know I'm new so I don't know but yeah so that's what I do and I just do them close together like that so that I can see and then I might try to blend them a little bit just to see or you can use it as just a tester but um that's what I use to color in my Copics or to pick my colors for my Copics and um yeah, I think that's about my only tip. The other thing is, is don't color too close to the lines because it will bleed. And I don't know why, but the colorless blender, they say, is like you can push the color back in. But I kind of have issues when I try to do that. So I just try not to color too close to the lines because it will bleed out a little bit. So there is my card. And the inside is just blank. So thank you for watching and I hope this helps.